Hello, I am Irene. I am at the Central Recording Studios today, and this video is about Batter Maker's plugin, the EQ232D. The EQ232D by Batter Maker is a plugin that translates into the digital world the clarity of the real piece of hardware, the EQ232 PMK2. It is an original emulation of an analog piece of gear. First of all, the EQ232 is a parametric equalizer with a passive EQ that comes from the traditional and iconic Poltec EQ P1. The EQ232 offers flexibility and clarity with that extra headroom of uh, modern EQs. And it does this without the distortion and the saturation of a vintage Poltec EQ. It maintains the tonal characteristic of a Poltec and it's magic. Wait in the low end and it opens up the top. It is very hard to make it sound bad. Let's check now the main blocks on the front panel. I can use the plugin linked in mono, dual mono, or for mid side operations. Let's link the two channels in stereo and collapse the display to a single module. I can click this button to hide show the second panel. First block. In the first section, there are the bypass controls and the high pass filter. I can bypass and activate each separate filter section or the entire unit. The high pass is a 24 dB per octave high pass filter. I can select a frequency between 18 and 200 Hz. Second block, EQ1 and EQ2. There are two separate EQ bands, each one with three controls for level, frequency and width. EQ1 frequency range is from 45 Hz to 1 kHz. EQ2 ranges from 650 Hz to 15 kHz. Boosts and cuts are plus minus 15 dB. Bandwidth goes from 1 fifth an octave, the narrowest, to 3 octaves, the widest. These two blocks are the implementation to the classic EQP1 that doesn't have these controls. Let's check now the third and last section, the magic block, P-filter EQ. In the PEQ section, we have low frequency, high frequency, and bandwidth controls. The frequency selectors in this section are switches displaying the frequencies in CPS, cycles per second, or KCS, kilocycles per second. Just another way to say hertz and kilohertz. For the low band, I can select one unique frequency for both boosting and cutting or attenuating simultaneously. For selecting the frequency of the low band, I can use these two buttons and cycle from 20 to 100 Hz or CPS. This is fixed low shelf with a constant slope and no adjustable bandwidth. For the high band, there are two separate frequency selectors for boosting and cutting. This is the single button to select the attenuation frequency. You see it rotates the different options from 5 to 20 kHz. And these are the two buttons to set the frequency boost from 3 to 16 kHz. The bandwidth knob only controls the width of the high frequency filter for boosting and its neutral position is 7. Broader the bandwidth and minor the boost. The last knob of this section is the overall output gain control. And this display here shows the values of the currently touched and being adjusted setting. One of the reasons why I like this plugin is that it matches the aspect of an analog module. This puts you in a mode of turning knobs with your ears instead of staring at EQ curves on a screen. So you are mixing with your ears and not with your eyes. Let's give it a try now.
Paltec style of boosting and attenuating the same low frequency is called the low-end trick. But why do we do so and why does this sound so good? This is something unexpected. When the EQP1 was released, on the manual it is stated that you should never try to boost and cut the same frequency as the two curves may cancel each other. But it is thanks to the practice that many engineers found out that actually it sounds good when you do that. So, first of all, it is not exactly the same frequency that we are boosting and cutting at the same time. Also, they don't have the same curves. The frequency for the attenuation is slightly offset and narrower than the boosted frequency. The attenuation creates a dip, cutting in the lower mids, and this brings focus around the boosted frequency while maintaining a clear transient definition. Let me show you this on a frequency analyzer. All right, so I inserted a signal generator of pink noise into a stereo track, then our equalizer and a fab filter as a frequency analyzer. So we are boosting now 60 Hertz and attenuating the same frequency. Now you see the 60 Hertz is the green point here. I want you to check what is happening at 500 Hertz. So the blue point once I start attenuating the same signal. So let's start boosting. And as you can see, the curve is changing around 60 Hertz incrementally. And now when I start attenuating, check it out. Yeah, you see, I'm creating that kind of scoop around 500 Hertz. Now, let's check B. So this is without boosting and without attenuation and back to A. I hope you enjoyed this video and that maybe I provided a little bit of insight into the use of BetterMaker's EQ232D. See you soon. Bye.